We just need to find paths to victory. We found one tonight. Now we have to start stacking them. Tough guy. Ben McAdoo doesn't mean we're a bad football team. Okay, we're a good football team. We show we're a good football team last night in Denver, okay? All right, we're going to come out and be a good football team moving forward, okay? Tough guy. Got the hair slicked back. Got that mean mugging going on. We're a good football team. So they are one or they're three plays away, essentially, from being three and two instead of 0 oh and five going into last night. Now, again, other things had to happen. It doesn't just come down to one of those plays. It was already tied in Philadelphia. They'd already choked away a lead. But they had chances to win all three of those games. And they weren't blown out by the Lions in week two either. That was just a really grisly effort by them. And in week one, they could get nothing done against the Cowboys. But had they had one touchdown drive, it would have changed everything in that game. So Ben McAdoo is right in this case. They weren't far away when they were 0-5. But last night, there was an inherent problem watching that if you've watched the Giants. The defense of New York came up with turnovers and stops and stiffened their back every time it mattered. They harassed Trevor Simeon. Jason Pierre-Paul hounded the backfield. They got a huge stop on fourth and goal. First, second, third, and fourth down to keep Denver out of the end zone. They created a turnover and a score on a pick six. All of those things didn't happen in the first five weeks. All of them. All of them didn't happen. Pierre Paul was invisible. No pressure on the quarterback. No turnovers. No defensive scores. No fourth down stops. They didn't do any of that. Had the Giants done that two times, they could have been 2-3 and three instead of 0-5. Oh so for some reason last night, the Giants defense finally woke up and said, oh, yeah, we're actually kind of good. We were the strength of the team last year when we went 11-5. and five. This team was never built to win game 34-31. It's not how they're built. The offensive line wasn't that good. The running backs are not that good, although last night they were better. The quarterback is old, and Odell Beckham bails them out of a lot of situations offensively. They needed to win games 21-20, 17-14. They, that was going to be the way they were going to have to win again. Maybe they'd get a little bit more leash because of the signing of Brandon Marshall and because of the drafting of Evan Ingram. Maybe they'd get a little bit more of a of a leash to be able to not put all the pressure on the on the defense. But this was never going to be a team that outscored you to win. So it was just ridiculous that for five weeks, somehow the defense had leads in the fourth quarter and simply couldn't close. I'll tell you this. Everybody's going to say the loss of Odell Beckham ended the Giants' season. The loss of Odell Beckham ended their season. That's not true. What ended their season was the defense never did its part, ever. It never did its part. The Eagles came back three times in that game after the Giants had a lead in the fourth quarter. The Giants gave their defense a lead late in that game on a sloggy field in Tampa. The defense let it up. The Giants had a lead almost the entire game against the Chargers. The defense gave it up. Odell Beckham being lost is obviously a big factor because it doesn't give you that game-breaking home run threat. But in a lot of ways, it doesn't actually make the Giants that much worse. And that sounds crazy. It makes them worse, obviously. But if the Giants' defense plays like that, it's not much different if you have Odell Beckham or don't have much Odell Beckham. You just you have to play that type of defense. And last night, they were brilliant. And you watch. I mean, this is crazy because I said they could go 0-16, and they could if they continually played garbage defense and the play calling was ridiculously bad. But you watch. Now that the play calling is out of Ben McAdoo's hands and the defense finally woke up, they could beat Seattle at home this upcoming weekend, then have a bye week and come back and play a Rams team, and suddenly you go, well, 3-5, and five, if they get that win at home against the Rams traveling across the country, maybe their season isn't over.